Welcome to downtown Wallen Park. We're going to give you a full tour of the entire downtown and what's here so far. So as you can see, we were right by a dock there. And there's one across the pond all the way over there. So you can probably take a canoe or a kayak that you can rent from here or an electric bike. All the way across the pond here, we got some children's playground equipment. Kind of cool, fun and there is artificial turf. This tree behind me is actually a heritage tree and it's one of 26 trees that um, Welland Park basically replanted. They basically took it from one place and relocated it to another, so this is one of the 26. And then there are some seating areas as well, a bench and tables. Over here we have the most important part, which is food. And we got chicken, chicken container restaurants, we got a quancho, which is like lobster, crab, I think. Stuff like lobster that. I rolls. Know. I don't do seafood. <laughs> but this place is really good, we went there already, it's called Pop dogs, they have like pretzel roll hot dogs. The bun is like a pretzel roll, and then there's like a hot dog in it, and almost everything has the option to get beer cheese on it, which is amazing. And then, as of right now, this is a temporary location. At least last time we were here for Foxdale Coffee, they're gonna have a full location over there. They have some of the best coffee, personally, my favorite coffee place. We had them in Orlando, and we're so glad that there's gonna be one nearby now. Right here, we have a small splash pad, which is pretty cool for little kids, and then also we have some steps here leading up to one dot. Which I could see people, I don't know, I'm just picturing people like sitting here and watching the beautiful sunset as the sun sets or sunrise. Behind me we have Solas Hall where you can have like weddings, different big events and things like that. And then here is, I believe it's either the Grand or the Great Lawn. I think it's the Great Lawn. But as you can see, it is pretty great. It's huge. And that's going to be a lot of nice space for them to have different events. It's just people to hang out kick up soccer ball around. Having a picnic. Having a picnic. And when we were here for the soft opening, they had like bag toss, ladder ball throughout the area, bocce ball, all kinds of different things. So hopefully that's something that'll be around here. And they had a big Jenga too, which is cool. Behind me here, we have a lot of different restaurants. Well, we will have restaurants. They're not quite open yet, but we have a restaurant, nail salon, and an ice cream shop, which that's pretty cool. There's also some sitting in the middle there and that little hallway actually leads to a big parking lot but i'm thinking that might not be public parking i'm thinking it's probably going to be for all the different apartments that we are going to have in downtown welland over here there's going to be a hotel right in the downtown which is awesome if you have friends and family coming to town or if you're new to the area and trying to explore it great because you'll be just steps from everything over here there's going to be another restaurant slash tap house i think is what they're calling it it's a banyan house, so there's gonna be food and beverages. And then over here, they got a nice little artificial turf play area. Right now they've got like some like little kids playhouses, which is cool. I don't know if that's the long-term plan, but so far, so good, but kind of fun, funky. Different. Could you fit in one of those? It's something for everyone. Yeah, let me get in. I could fit in one of those. I, could fit in, I, think. I actually found my house the other day. Can I have your order? Would you like that super size to go? Okay, I got you. Oh, I like this one. This one's pretty. Sam's Coffee Cafe. Sneak peek of inside Solace Hall. Lots of glass doors, lots of lighting. Looks like some amazing views all throughout the inside. So this is probably a restaurant coming in. And then we have, right next to it, we'll have a nail bar. And Dana Taylor, which is, it seems like it's going to be a jewelry store. Bright Eyes Scoop Shop. That's exciting. Gotta have your ice cream. Naples soap company over here to the left and the restrooms and then there's offices here. I'm guessing if you have any questions about the Welland Park downtown or shops or things like that, they might be able to answer any questions. It's my guess. And from here you can see all the apartments that are going to be for lease here soon. They're actually now leasing. So if you can't find any street parking, we have a big parking lot which I'm guessing it's probably going to be for the apartments at some point or some of it, it's probably, some of the parking is probably going to be for apartments. More spaces, I'm guessing it's probably going to be shopping and restaurants. Um, as you can see, they're still working on the inside. So the outside show, it's pretty much done, but the inside needs to be worked on yet. This is the steakhouse restaurant that we saw. Yeah, steakhouse there. and seafood it seems like. It's pretty loud here today. There is a lot of uh, construction going on, but yeah, we're pretty excited to have this almost completed. And right here you can see they have a very signature like shaded statement piece in the middle. I don't know what you call those things, the specific word for them, but it looks cool. We're back over by the shipping container area, which we were by earlier, but if you come this way, 
to. There's going to be beer, wine, and water here. I guess we'll see what it all amounts to once they have. You can tell they got the little overhead doors, and that's a nice touch. Always nice for a place like that in Florida. They can roll that up, and you get lots of the natural light and breeze coming through. Oh, Oak and Stone. Oak and Stone. Amazing. I haven't been there yet. I keep hearing, like, you can get, like, a wristband and basically buy, like, I think there's, like, 30 or 40, 50 beers on tap. And you can like get it by the ounce and they pay by the ounce based on your wristband and they have a huge selection good pizza and really good burgers we've heard too so i'm excited to try that finally the reason we haven't been there yet is because i want to try a lot of beers and we're far away and i don't want to have all those beers and drive off not sure what this is going to be maybe that's more open stone it seems like and then we've got breakwater home fashions so it looks like it's going to have like you know plates and things for the home cups utensils and then here's an important one, Foxtail Coffee, such good coffee, probably my favorite coffee shop. And we had them out when we lived in Orlando, so I'm excited that they're coming to the area. And then, you can see here they've got a sign that's showing more of what's going on. Canopy Green, Souls Hall, all the stuff we pointed out to you actually already. And then over here, some more grassy area, which is nice. Looks like they're going to keep it that way. Over here, more grassy area, which again is nice. When we were here for the soft opening, they have like ladder ball toss and things like that here. And then you can see all this open area here. We're not sure what that's going to be yet. It might be more parking. It might be more businesses. We're hoping more businesses, a more walkable area, and restaurants and things like that. But I guess we will see what comes. But so far, it's looking amazing. One of my favorite things in all of downtown Wellam Park is all the murals. This one right here is very elaborate. You can see there was a lot of skill put into it, a lot of time. And then there's another one this way, which, again, this is. The Welland Park area looks very modern, but having a little bit of funk here and there, like very artistic, it's kind of cool. And then yeah, this one right here is amazing as well. If you like what you see and are looking to move to the area, make sure to call, text, or email us. I am a local realtor here. My information will be in the description box below. Phone number is 941 221 Call or text at any time. We're always going to have your best interest and happiness in mind when buying or selling a home in the area. We hear from people all the time and we love it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the tour and live breezy. breezy.